What is up guys, Jeremy here and welcome back to another video. So I'm gonna show you guys how to restore your iPhone or your iPad uh, to its factory settings basically. Now what's nice about this and um, a lot of people don't know this is you can restore it and you will remain on whatever version of iOS that you're on. Now this tutorial is mainly geared towards jailbreakers so keep that in mind uh, if you guys are just viewing this in search results. Um, but yes, you can just restore your iPhone. It'll stay on whichever version of iOS you're on. This one is on iOS 14.3, which as of the making of this video is currently jailbreakable. Now, why I'm making this video is because over time, if you're jailbroken, you install tweaks and packages, um, apps and what have you, your device may get slow. It may get buggy. Um, and it might be something that you just want to do. Now, for me, um, about a year ago when I was jailbroken on iOS 13, I remained jailbroken for a very long time and my device got really, really slow and super full of memory. It had that weird iOS memory bug and I was basically out of space and the only thing I could do was to restore it and start all over. Now, this will be important for those of you that might have tons and tons of apps and a lot of crap on your iPhone. This could potentially... Um, speed it up at least for a while until you accumulate everything again but like I said I'll show you guys how to do this it's really quite easy and I know a lot of people are actually very nervous about doing this because they don't want to update and lose their jailbreak and I can assure you guys uh, you won't lose your jailbreak if you do this but if you guys are jailbroken make sure you restore your root file system with your jailbreak utility before you do this and I'll show you an example so this iPhone has actually been freshly restored because I forgot to click the frickin' record button on my camera. So um, I did restore it already, but I forgot to do a um, restore root file system with Taurine and I still have Cilio on the home screen. So any jailbreak related application will remain on your iPhone unless you restore the root file system. Now I'll show you guys how to do that real quick. It's really simple, so it, it's in uh, it's in Taurine, it's in Uncover, and it's in CheckRain. Doesn't matter which jailbreak you're using, they all feature this option. It just looks a little different because each jailbreak looks a little different. But in Taurine, all you got to do is turn on Restore Root File System. And then basically, you jailbreak your iPhone. As you can see, it says jailbreak, but essentially it means unjailbreak. When Restore Root File System is on, it means unjailbreak. It removes all of these applications like Cilio, uh, another one would be Filesa, iCleaner, any application that you've installed jailbroken, uh, it will remove. It'll re remove all tweaks and basically everything jailbreak related um, so that way you don't have residual icons left over. So just remember to do that, especially if you guys are looking to unjailbreak and then restore because you're going to sell your iPhone or give it to somebody or sell it to somebody or something like that. Just make sure you do that because otherwise they're going to be stuck with these icons and it's super annoying. So just make sure you restore your root file system with your jailbreak before beginning this process. Now, like I said, this iPhone is on iOS 14.3. So if we go to general, we go to about, as you can see, it's on 14.3. And doing this, it will remain there. But I do wanna stress that if you have not backed anything up in your iCloud or to your computer or however you want to back it up, you will lose everything. So make sure you have backups. I use iCloud for basically all of my stuff. Um, and I do have some backups on my computer, but usually when I do this, I just wanna make sure that like my photos are backed up, um, my files application is backed up, and a few other things. Otherwise, I like to restore and then I, I actually don't mind re-downloading all of the applications, um, simply sign in with Apple ID and all that. So just make sure you make a backup, otherwise you're gonna lose everything. So what you do is you go to general and then you go to the bottom and there is reset, uh, erase all content and settings. Now, when you do this, it's basically just going to strip everything off your iPhone because your iPhone still has iOS 14.3 on it, obviously, because that's the version it's on. So that's what it's going to remain on. It's just stripping everything away, except for jailbreak applications if you have those. Um, so we're going to go ahead and do that now. So we're going to do erase all content and settings. As you can see, you get a warning 
do you want to back up and then erase or just erase now? I'm just going to do erase now because I don't need to back up anything. You get a pop-up, you click it, you get another pop-up. So it's really trying to warn you not to do, to do this um, if you haven't backed anything up. That's essentially what it's doing. So we'll just go ahead and now we're going to put our Apple ID passcode in. Okay, now I have put my passcode in. It should start loading as you guys can see there. And now it is beginning the restore process. Basically, it's just going to erase everything and it's going to use the onboard IPSW or the firmware that is on your device to reapply it to the iPhone. It's going to be basically the same as if you got it out of the box. One thing I want to mention is if you guys are using backups um, and you have other iPhones, be very careful that you don't use another iPhone's backup because if you have another iPhone, let's say this iPhone was on iOS 14.4.2 and I backed it up, and this one's on 14.3. If I use the backup for 14.4.2 on this iPhone, this iPhone will be required to update. So it will not work until you update it. So just make sure if you're using backups and you have multiple devices that you're using the correct backup because depending on what the backup, what version of iOS it's for, it could affect that phone. So just a little bit of an, a warning there that if you use another backup that's on a newer version of iOS, that newer version is required to run that backup. And you can get yourself stuck there. I, I've done that before, um, where basically once you do that, you literally do have to update that iPhone. There's no going back. So just be cautious when you're doing this. Um, it will take in a minute here, as you can see, there's the loading bar. So I'm gonna speed this part up and I'll be back as soon as it's done. Okay, it was actually pretty quick and we're back to the hello screen like we just got it out of the box. So I'm gonna go ahead and go through this process here. We'll do English, United States. I'll set up manually. I'll choose my Wi-Fi. I'll log in here real quick. Okay, and it should log us in. So we have a Wi-Fi connection. It may take a few minutes to activate your iPhone. As you can see, I'm getting pop-ups on my other phones. Uh, for setting it up for quick setups and stuff like that. I usually don't do any of that just because I don't want to mess with anything uh, We'll do continue for data. I'm gonna not use a passcode because on these extra iPhones. I don't use a passcode Don't use passcode and then as you can see here we go. So apps and data so you can restore from an iCloud backup restore from your Mac or PC transfer directly from iPhone more data uh, or sorry, move data from Android. Um, what I always do is don't transfer uh, apps and data. That's what I always do. And I just basically have to re-download all of my apps because everything else I have backed up in iCloud, which is um, not a big deal to me. So I usually just do that option just so I don't have to worry about it. And then here I'm gonna go ahead and log into my Apple ID. Okay, now it's gonna say it may take a few minutes. I'm gonna agree to the terms and conditions. It may take a few minutes, just let it load here. Uh, enter passcode of other iPhone, so I'll do that. Sometimes it gives you a random question like that, I've noticed. Sometimes it tells me to put my Mac um, passcode in or a different iPhone that I have. I think it's just an extra security measure that Apple does, kind of interesting. Uh, we'll do, uh, we'll just continue. I'll change all the settings later. And then you see this keep your iPhone up to date thing. I'm just gonna click continue. Um, set up later in settings, set up later in settings. Don't share and continue, continue, continue. And now we can swipe up. And as you can see, we are back to stock iOS. It's re-downloading all the apps. And again, like I said, that stupid Cilio is gonna still be there because I did not um, restore my root file system. To get rid of that, what I have to do is re-download Taurine and then specifically just use Taurine to restore the root file system and then it will remove it. That would be the same for Uncover or CheckRain. So if you ever have these residual applications that are just there, you have to get the jailbreak again and physically restore root file system with that jailbreak to get rid of those. So I think that's kind of nice that that was there so I can explain that. Um, but as you can see, we'll go into settings, we'll go to general, we'll go to about, and my iPhone is still on 14.3. Now at this point, if you don't want your iPhone to update, make sure you go in here immediately and make sure that this was automatic updates. Make sure all this is off. 
So that's panic mode right there. Shut that off. Now it will not update. So yes, 14.5 is currently out. Again, like I said, automatic updates, turn that off. Otherwise your iPhone is going to update probably later that night when you plug it in and go to bed. So don't forget about that part. But at this point now I can, uh, you know, re-download whatever jailbreak utility I want to use. For me, it's probably going to be Taurine because I already have Cilio here. So I'll re-download uh, Taurine and then just start jailbreaking again. I'll start downloading all the apps from the App Store again. Of course, log into my iCloud stuff here. So I have all my photos, my messages, my Safari bookmarks, and all that stuff that's accessible through iCloud. But that's basically how you can restore iOS without having to update and a whole bunch of jailbreak information involved with this as well. So hopefully you guys found this tutorial useful. If you did, definitely throw me a thumbs up. That helps me out a lot here at the channel. And if you guys want to see more videos like this in the future, don't forget to click that subscribe button. This has been Jeremy, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Later.